I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness, how to stay current and relevant. Before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.7% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Have you ever seen worse? If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and take pride in actually editing my videos. So consider subscribing, it's free. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and let me tell you a little story real quick. About a month ago, I was dropping off my sister at a friend's house, and on my way back, I was driving behind this clapped out Miata in my blue BMW, and there was a school zone coming up, so of course we slowed down. But there happened to be a freaking Jeep out of all things trying to tow a fairly big trailer right in front of the Miata. So instead of going 20, we were going like 10 miles per hour because the Jeep was struggling. So while we were all going like half the speed limit, a motorcycle cop comes down the other side of the road, slowing down to do a U-turn. And just my luck, he stares at my bright tropical blue BMW and pulls me over. I'm pretty sure the Miata in front of me didn't have insurance or anything, but he stops me because I didn't have a front license plate apparently. I had my front plate tucked into my windshield, which I thought was fine because I saw a bunch of cars driving around like that, but apparently it's a hazard. Here in Texas, it's required to have both plates, which is a little ironic considering how lax the state is with other stuff. But I got a ticket and went about my day. I swear I have the worst luck sometimes because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It was the end of the month, so I'm guessing that the cops were just stopping people for the smallest things just to meet their end of the month quotas or whatever so they could get a bonus. So instead of me having to go to court on a school day, one of my friends recommended Off The Record. It's an app that connects you to a local lawyer that will fight your ticket for you. You don't even have to show up in court in most instances, and they have like a 90 something percent chance of dismissing your citation slash ticket. It was only like 50 bucks plus a $10 fee for the lawyer, so I went ahead and went that route. I will leave my referral link down in the description below so you guys can get $10 off your first ticket on the Off The Record app. But anyway, so I wouldn't get stopped for the same dumb reason, I went ahead and bought a tow hook license plate adapter for my BMW. It's kind of cheap, but it does the job without me having to drill any holes into my bumper. Link in the description below. Now I was doing the same thing with my Mustang by having a plate tucked into the windshield, so I had to put it on the front somehow. The Mustangs don't have a tow hook hole, so I couldn't do the same thing as my BMW. They sell some plate brackets that attach to the bottom of the bumper on the chin, but they were like 40 bucks and you had to drill holes into the bottom of the chin spoiler. This was a no-go because I was going to buy a more aggressive splitter that stuck out more, so mounting the bracket was not possible. So one day I was at Target and I saw a Nardo Gray 350Z with a front plate zip tied to the grill. This gave me an idea, so I went ahead and zip tied the plate to the bottom grill on the Mustang. Now this was not very secure and the plate would move up and down freely, so I added some double sided tape to the bottom of the bumper and stuck it on the back of the license plate. The 3M mounting tape I used was very strong and the plate is now stuck on there pretty good. The tape is completely removable with a heat gun if you're wondering, so it won't damage your bumper in any way unless you have very old paint that would rip off with the tape. I have gone over 100 in this thing and the tape and zip ties are still on there. So if you need a way to mount your front license plate, you might want to consider this inexpensive method. Like and subscribe for more car videos. I hope you guys liked that little intro animation and I guess that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.